Hello everybody. I have the new Tarot Volatile Tarot deck. So if you see my channel before, you know that I already do have the heavy edition of this deck because this was the last version of this type of printing they were going to do before they went into the classic. So the biggest difference between the classic and the heavy edition is obviously going to be the size. So this is the expansion pack. I believe this actually has more cards in it, but you can just tell that the cards are significantly thinner, which is not a bad thing because I find with the Terra Volatile, the heavy edition, um, it's, it's a thick boy. It can be a little hard to shuffle. And then it does have just a regular finish on it. So they don't run as smooth. So they did give me, I read that there, they gave seven cards from their Ruin decks and it does have that linen finish on it so it does shuffle a lot smoother. I don't know if you can see the lighting there but you get that, that finish on there that is different. see that we get that kind of cross hatching on there that kind of gives it that air linen and air linen basically it traps a little bit of air in between the cards so they move really smoothly so they just gave me some extra cards which is which is nice um, I don't know what's ruined about them <laughs> um, I know that they are very 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 particular on their printing um, they want to be able to show all the details so maybe just wasn't to their liking, but it's really nice that they did throw in some extra cards there. Now I know that this is the, they call it the 2021 or 2022 edition, um, and there is some updates on there. So we'll take a look. All right, so right off the bat, we do have a different box. Um, the box on the heavy edition is quite thick. It's got quite a bit of thickness to it. This seems thinner. And it is a magnet box. All things change and we change with them. That's really nice. Let's move this to the side here. So we got a nice magnet flip box. So the original, not the original, sorry, the heavy edition came with this additional card. It seems they just kind of put it right on the back. And if you watched my original review, you know that there's additional deck in here, or sorry, additional suit in here, and there's an additional, um, there's additional alternative cards. So I'm gonna do a comparison to the size. Ooh. See, it's already much more slippy, which I kind of always complained about <laughs> until I got a deck that doesn't actually have an air finish on it and it's kind of annoying. So these cards are backwards because those are the um, vessel suits, sorry, the suit of vessels that I'm not currently using. But we're gonna do a size comparison here on thickness. Yeah, so there's quite a bit of a difference there, roughly. So this is gonna be a lot easier to handle. Um, specifically, again, I'm going to pull out the suit of vessels until I study it, just because I feel like I don't want to use them as an oracle, as oracle cards. I do want to use them kind of in tandem with everything else. So, all right. So that's interesting because this was the fool S before, and now they just have it as the fool. So you have basically your choice. And again, my deck's all shuffled, so sorry that we're not doing a direct comparison here. But the size of the card's slightly different. No, no, they're the same. They just feel slightly different. And I think that just comes down to the card stop because again, this is a thick boy. Well, this has got a, this is more thinner but it's more, you can wield it a lot better. Um, as you can see, the colors 
different. So this one has a bit of a yellowed finish on it, while this is just pure white. I know that the heavier edition was intended for you to see the artwork, like very up close, and to see all the details there, while well, this is intended to be a little more aesthetically pleasing overall. So we got here and again she's running smooth um i do know that there is some differences so i am going to just go through a regular flip through in my other um review i did do a side by side review of the oh that's just like a oh no that's a new card it's called chaos it's black of zero Ooh. Okay, so they actually have a alternative to the Fool. So yeah, there's some additional cards in here. So again, sorry, kind of got off track there. Um, before, I just kind of flipped through and I used the expansion to kind of go through the differences there. I'm not going to bother this time. Um, I'm just going to flip through silently and I will make a quick tap on it if it's different from the Heavy Edition. Now. What I mean by it's different than the Heavy Edition is that this is a new printing of the Classic. Again, it's a new edition altogether. So the Heavy is going to be indicative. It's going to be the same as their old editions, basically, because they're no longer printing this one um, once it's sold out. Well, this is going to be the version that they're going to be going forward with, because I know that there is differences. So I'll make a little tap on it, and I'll, after we're done, I'll make notes of what differences there actually is.
So now I'm going to flip through the expansion, which is alternative cards. Okay, I'm um, going to set the expectation. I feel really bad for the creators of this deck because it does feel cursed. Um, I'm sure if you noticed, the Misery Collector was missing its M, and it's because they literally had to put an apology in there saying, we apologize for missing the M. <laughs> um, it was just, this again, the production of this deck has always been cursed, unfortunately. Um, as I said in my previous review for the heavier edition, the expansion backs are slightly off. I don't think that's the case in this one. Yeah, no, they look identical. Perfect. Um, I made note, again, by tapping on ones that I'm pretty sure were different. Um, the biggest alternatives when it comes to the main deck is going to be the inclusion. Uh, where's the cup suits? Of a more di diverse two of cups which is nice. Um, I noticed that they did add some of the expansions that was on the previous edition into this one. Um, there was no additional new cards. There was just a little bit of differences there. Just a few differences because in the original he was looking forward. Now he's looking upwards. Um, I might have missed some things. Um, I know that the face on strength is different. Um, and I do know that... Again, I noticed one thing I noticed right away is they changed the name of the um, female presenting fool to from the fool is just to the fool. Um, when it comes to the expansion, um, there's a few new cards. Chaos is one of them. Um, that's really cool and it's really hard to see because it's so dark and I like that. But we got a zero up here. Um, let's see if I can point it. 
We have a zero up here, and then we have just chaos down here. And it's really cool. Um, biggest difference that I'm seeing when it comes to the expansion is that they did change the faces a little bit, I believe, on the princesses, which I appreciate because I found that they were a little, um, I don't know, I didn't like them as much, although I like having the princesses over the pages. I really like that one. Um, and then they f <laughs> they fixed the uh, laughing Buddha because, ooh, she looked the bad in the in the original. And I'm these are two new cards: the descent and the godsend. So those are new. I feel bad. My favorite card deck. I mean, drop the M, which is fine because. You know what, whatever. Um, another thing I noticed that I pointed out there, one second, I'm gonna grab her again, was one of the, yeah, the Knight of Wands, that's, that's not in the center. Again, the poor deck production is cursed. Now, quality of the cards itself, they're really nice. So I'm gonna take out these vessels here. With that being said, I love the suit of vessels. I think it's so intelligently designed. I just don't have the balls to read with them yet. Also, I didn't mention this, the box has a ribbon, which is nice. So I'm gonna have to keep trying to dig those out. So I'm gonna put those under the ribbon so I can dig out my deck very easily. That's still a thick deck. Oh, I gotta take out some of those extras. I'm gonna take two seconds to do that. All right, so I got the deck the way I wanted it to. My biggest changes is I added the princesses. Um, I do like Dog Dude quite a bit. I chose that one for the H. I I did like a little more extra fighting. I like that one for the Four of Wands. Change the night up. Again, got your princess here. Um, I changed that one out. Change that one out. That was the three of swords that I chose. Again, chose the princess. Chose that one. I chose that one for the seven of pentacles. Um, it's a little harsh, but I don't know, I'm a harsh house, so whatever. Um, I know there's an alternative to that, but I like that one better. Um, again, Princess. I like Drunk Dude. Um, kept that one in. Whiffle back and forth a little bit, but I thought like the blue kind of fit better with the theme. Chose that one. Um, went with the world. Went with Apotheosis. Stuck with the sun. Stuck with the moon, although Descent was really tempting. Um, same with the star, which is Godsend. That's still on the sidelines. Um, pick Hubris, because for me, the tower represents Hubris more than anything else. Um, Y'all know I love my Misery Collector, in this case, Isery Collector. Um, I chose the Temptation, Temperance, Prudence um, for the Hangman. Um, I like having the four virtues in my deck. Um, so we got Fortitude, um, Fortuna, the Hermit, Justice, Determination is what I picked. Kept the Lovers. Um, kept the Pope, but I changed out the Emperor for Authority. Um, kept the Empress, changed out the High Priestess for Intuition, kept the Magician, and chose the Female Presenting Fool. That, that's my deck and how I choose to have it going. When it comes to shuffling, this is a lot easier um, than the heavier edition for sure. A little more slippy, not a bad thing. But overall, um, you, you all know this is one of my favorite decks. Again, I feel really bad for the production issues that they had um, overall. Again, I feel like this poor deck is cursed. Um, but anything that's worthwhile is, honestly, it's, it's gonna be difficult, so. It is what it is. Um, again, color-wise, if we want to grab, move all these effers out of the way. 
And again, color wise, as we said, you can see the colors here, but aesthetically these look these look nicer because of that kind of yellowed, almost like old book. You can just see how well how well they move overall. So this is going to be my client deck for sure. And then I'm going to keep the twos on standby. When I know my client's preference, I can put them in the deck as I see fit. I really like the fact that they added that to the main deck because before it was only, only in the expansion. And we definitely want to make sure that we're going to get diversity around to have it front and center. Uh, overall, if I were to recommend one over the other, um, I would probably recommend this edition just for the ease of shuffling, one. Um, two, I feel like they give you a lot more options um, without having to get the expansion pack. Um, but let's be realistic, the deck's not cheap. Um, if you're going to be getting it, you might as well go full in and just get the whole thing. Uh, overall, I... It's my, I wouldn't even say my top 10, it's probably in my top three decks. And it will be at my side for a very long time.